Hi, everybody. <laughs> you guys are, you got, got the stalwarts is what we got here. So Lisa and Hiram and Marla and Doug and Jericho and Brian and, and Lizette and Carlos is over here on the other side of the living room. Well, how did you feel about that? This is great. We had three, um, uh, we had Jim Carpenter, we had Zofia Weaver, uh, Zofia Weaver, and Patricia, three very different books. One, of course, Jim's is the theory, and um, I think he needs about four hours to actually explain it. And then there's the study of Fran Kluski, and I think the materials that Sophia, uh, Sophia has, I can't say this name, Sophia has gotten into, no one else has had their hands on so much material about this particular medium, so that's fantastic. And I just love um, how Patricia thinks about what she's doing, and certainly we met her when she was doing a tour around talking to people and getting information and so on, and she really goes at these these uh, experiences with a, with a great attitude. So it's been it's been a very interesting day, and I I hope um, you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow we start at 1:15 with just a, a brief opening, and we'll have Steve Browdy talking about his new book called Crimes of Reason, which is really interesting. It's a collection of his essays on mind, nature, and the paranormal. And Cal Cooper will be talking about, he's a, a graduate student at University of Northampton and an instructor. He's going to be talking about telephone calls from the dead, which is a continuation or restart of, of, of the case, the types of uh, uh, cases that uh, Scott Rogel and Raymond Bayless did a collection on back in the 70s and published uh, phone calls from the dead in 1979, which was a really excellent book, actually. It had a wild cover. And people thought the title was terrible, but it was an excellent book with excellent cases. So it's very, it's really a wonderful mix, I think, of Carlos did the organizing, and um, uh, some of it was dependent on who said yes and who said no. But it, it's a really interesting mix of academic books and really good popular books that you can take your piece in. So does anybody have anything they want to say or comment or question or um, whatever might be on your minds at the moment. You can even turn on the mic if you want. We just wanted to uh, express, express our excitement over how much fun these book expos really are and how great it is to hear from the authors and the editors about um, why and how this book came about. Thanks, Marla. That would be a great idea. One place where you could do it is when we get these books up on YouTube, definitely get into the comments and suggest other books that you enjoy. And um, once we get our new fairpsychology.org site up, we'll have the blog available there, too. And you can also get on the Facebook pages if you have books that you find that you think we, we would enjoy reading. That would be a good book to look, to look for for a future one. Actually, Lizzie can talk to that, but uh, the Fair Psychology Foundation hasn't done any live events in quite a while. We were trying to think about what was the last one. I think the economy was the, the thing that really made life difficult. And because the library is out in Greenport now, too, I think the last live event was out there. I remember one that the uh, Cindy Kirkpatrick and his mother came to, came to, but I don't remember what that was. <laughs> it was a while back. And we also did uh, a conference in 2005 over here, in, well, not over here, but in Virginia and Charlottesville. So we're hoping to do lots and lots and lots of online things. In fact, um, I should get, uh, yeah, PF is on in Greenport out on the North Fork of Long Island on Front Street. I'm going to move out here and get the link to uh, uh, the YouTube channel, Mr. Scott. Okay. I like that comment that um, 
Long Island is another country in New York. <laughs> I just gave you the Google link to Google.com for some reason, but it clicks you out to Parapsychology Foundation uh, YouTube videos. We did um, a six-week course in January and February that you can still get into, Lisa, on WizIQ by, by um, searching for Parapsychology Foundation and for Paris and for the desire also. I'll see if I can find that link. You can still sign up for that. Ah, right, right. The daughter of Nander Fodor, Andrea Litke at the New York Open Center. That's right, that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Well, there's lots of new ways to stay in touch too because we're on uh, we're on Twitter and we're on Facebook. There's Parapsychology Foundation on Facebook, and then Psychic Explorers Club is also on Facebook, and we're on Pinterest as well. So there's lots of ways to uh, stay in touch, get in touch. And um, I think you'll see, uh, that's so nice to say. I think it was for us, too. I mean, I think we all loved having all those people come in and talk about their work. Anna Damalis was a uh, daughter, and she are working on bringing all of the perspectives lectures out onto the YouTube channel. And we also uh, did an international conference at the end of January, and that's on the YouTube channel, the six-week course. It, the Paramook uh, 2016 will be up there soon, and there's lots and lots of film that we're all working on to get them out onto the YouTube channel so that everybody can see all the stuff that we used to do back in the end of the, the 20, 20th century, back in 19, from 19 whatever to 98, 99 through early 2000s, and then the foundation itself has tons of film going all the way back to the beginning, so that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, we have Zazzle, too. We're on Zazzle.com. I think you can search for us. Right now, I think there's a, a couple of mugs available. So we're all around the place. Hiram is saying, it's an interesting quote from Pearson that materialism is eroding from waves of information and experiences that wash away its relevance to some aspects of the human experience. Yeah. And perhaps the Internet creates the currents and the energy. I think, I think, the internet has a has a huge uh, potential for making people aware of what's going on and what what people are experiencing and then what research is being done. That was the number one comment we were hearing from last year's Paramook, uh, the big online free online class we did in January and February last year, and also this year, is that many of the new people had no idea that any of the research was being done at all. So that was that's really good, and then they go up onto YouTube, and people more people will get to see them and understand what's going on, and that's really important as well. So hopefully, you can change minds slowly. Yeah, the library is great in that new space. We said we were all. I remember Carlos and I were worried because we had left to go to Virginia while the Foundation Library was still uh, on the Upper East, and we said, oh, how could Greenport be? That's good, but you open that door and you walk in and it's amazing. It's just a really wonderful library. It's spacious and the whole collection and it's just really great. It's a charming town too. Like Marla said, it's a little tough to get out there, but they have they have uh, the Long Island, isn't it the, the train stops right there, can't go any farther. <laughs> so that's one way to get out there. It's still an amazing, an amazing collection, an amazing space. Yeah, exactly. And you have to pass a really great deli <laughs> on your way to the door of the library. That's always a plus. <laughs> so, well, I we want to thank you sincerely for for coming to the event today, for hanging through the the problems that we were having with uh, the connection. 
and we hope to see you back tomorrow. The opening session will be brief like this at 1.15 Eastern, and we'll just give you a sense of the schedule again and um, do the housekeeping thing. And then we'll move into Steve Browdy at 1.45 uh, p.m. Eastern with Crimes of Reason on Nature, Mind, and the Paranormal. And then Cal Cooper will be the last pr presentation of the, of the event, telephone calls from the dead at 3 p.m. Eastern, and then our closing session at 4 p.m., in which you may have some things to tell you about we haven't already told you today. So, yeah, exactly. Just as we that says, what she says, pleasant dreams tonight, and looking forward to seeing all of you guys tomorrow. So thank you so much for coming today. It's been a great day for us, and I hope it was for you, and tomorrow should be lots of fun as well. So see you, see you around. And I'm just about to go over and embed that uh, TED Talk from Patricia Pearson in the, in the course. Uh, schedule so you can run over there and click on it and see it and download it and all that stuff. So thanks everybody. Thanks so much. Have a great evening. Thanks, Lizette. Thanks everybody. Hi there, I'm Lisa Coley. I'm president of Parapsychology Foundation, so welcome to our YouTube channel. We have lots to look at, so please check out our videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.